Hi everyone, this is Death by Snowman from Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. In this video, I'm going to talk you through how to install the new uh, UYA maps onto your PS3. I want to start by thanking Badger and Dan from DL who did a lot of work creating these maps as well as the installation program. You have to download and extract the installation program from Dropbox to install the maps. I'll put a link in the video description. Uh, just a few disclaimers before you even try to do this at all, before you do anything. Um, first of all, I'm just going to put them in writing here. This does not currently work with the disc version of the game. So in other words, if you went out and purchased the Ratchet & Clank collection on a disc, uh, that will not work. You have to download the game from the PSN store. Also, the installer program requires a computer that can run Windows. In short, you can't use your Mac, you can't use your phone to install these maps. Also, this is a new process and it's not supported by Sony or Insomniac. I'm not responsible for any damage to your PS3 or any loss of data uh, that might happen from you trying to do anything in this video. And neither is Badger or Dan. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you go to the link here and then you download the installer. Uh, you don't need to sign in to do it, you can just click this button to continue to download. And then it'll take a second to download. And then what you need to do is open it up in your download folder, uh, right click on it, and then hit extract all. And then just hit extract, and then the new folder will pop up. And then that is contains, as well as the program, it contains a README text file. So if you open that by double clicking on it, um, this is Badger and Dan's instructions. And these are pretty accurate, so you should also refer to these when you're installing the new maps. Okay, so the first step is to back up your PS3 to an external flash drive, uh, also known as a USB. To do this, you need a large enough USB to back up all the data that's currently stored on your PS3. You can figure out how much data you have on your PS3 uh, using any USB you have lying around. Uh, preferably an empty one, but as far as I know, anyone will do. And you plug it into the PS3. So then, next, you would go to your system settings. And then you find the backup utility and then you select backup uh, to this prompt you hit yes and then you select your USB that pops up uh, here you see that on mine this current one I've plugged in I have 5290 megabytes free that's about 5.3 gigabytes uh, if you think you'll forget that number in the next 60 seconds, you should probably write it down. So once you write it down, you hit enter, and then it's going to think about it for a while. So, and then it says, if your USB is too small, it says there's not enough free space, and then it shows you how much more space you need. Uh, and in my case, it says I need at least 9,520 megabytes more, so that's 9.5 gigabytes. So that's saying that overall I have, uh, I need to add these two numbers together. So I have, I, I have 5.3 gigabytes free and I need 9.5 more gigabytes. So that is almost 15 gigabytes uh, of flash drive space that I would need. If you need more space, you got a couple options. Option one is to delete some stuff off your PS3 to reduce the amount of space required. Uh, you can go in here in the game menu, the game data utility, and delete some of this stuff to free up more space. Uh, you can also delete game downloads. Uh, you can, I don't think you can delete the Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal one, but other ones you might be able to delete. Uh, but then you'll have to just re-download everything later. Uh, the other option, if you don't want to delete anything, is just to go buy a bigger flash drive. So you have to go down to the store and pick a size that is at least 
a gigabyte or so bigger than the amount of space that you calculated that you need since these new maps are going to add a little more data to the flash drive or if you don't have any money or you don't have a car you should ask your parents to buy one for you I'm sure they'll understand um, so I ended up getting a 16 gigabyte flash drive because that's the smallest standard size that's bigger than the 14 or 15 gigabytes that I need okay so once you have a big enough USB you can perform the backup you go to the same system settings backup utility and then you select your USB to begin the backup uh, it's going to take quite a while to perform the backup you can see mine um, it says an hour and 25 minutes uh, that's because I have a lot of data on my PS3 hopefully you have less so it'll take less time than this but it will take quite a while so the backup has completed um, at this point you can exit out of the backup utility and then remove the flash drive and turn off your PS3. So now it's time to actually install the maps. Uh, you take the USB drive that has your backup and you plug it into your computer, which I've already done. And then you go into uh, where you downloaded the installation program earlier at the beginning of this tutorial. And you right click on this ratchet custom map installer.exe. And then uh, right click on it and select run as administrator. Uh, you should also be able to hit open if you don't have administrator access. Uh, it should be the same thing. So you open the program, uh, you hit yes to this user account control, and then um, right away the uh, like a browser window pops up and it says please locate your archive.dat file within your backup. So you go to your PS3 backup drive, which for me is this one. Uh, you browse through the folders. Uh, you can see, you know, it's not like exactly a lot of options, and there's only one archive.dat file. So you select that file, then you hit open. Okay, so now this is kind of the main screen of the installer. It shows all the different maps that you can install. Uh, notice how also down here it says that it found backup information for Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal HD. Um, yours might also say that you found deadlocked information if you play deadlocked. Okay, so now you can just click on these maps to select which ones you want to install. You can see there's a little bit of information about each one. Um, so I'm going to uncheck all these deadlocked ones because I don't need them. The deadlocked ones are at the top and the UIA ones are at the bottom. Uh, as you can see, the red X just means that you're not installing that map and the green check mark means that you are. Okay, so here are their UIA maps. Uh, you can see there's Starship Phoenix, uh, Snivelac, Canal City, and Tor Torval Ruins. So these are the four custom maps as of this video. So you select those four and then you can just hit install over here. Um, and then this pop-up window appears uh, prompting you to choose your installed games. So this is where uh, you have to know which game you downloaded from the PSN store. Uh, they do give helpful information on each game so, for instance, mine says I live in the U.S., which is correct, and I only have Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal, not the whole collection. Uh, if you want, you can probably do some digging and look for this number just to double check things so you make sure you have the right one. Uh, I on mine it says uh, you can look actually in this URL here, and this number matches. Uh, this number right here. So that shows I have the correct game. So I'm going to hit confirm and then the installation will start. Uh, you can see what it's doing right down here and then up here it says it's downloading um, Starship Phoenix. So it's going to download the four maps and then install them. This will take a few minutes but not nearly as long as the backup did.
okay and now you see this pop-up window it says that the map installation is complete so you can just hit okay and then uh, it selects you it wants you to locate your archive.dat file again so you can see that you can just pick the same one and then hit open again just to get that pop-up to go away and then uh, now you're done you've installed the maps so one thing that Badger and Dan suggest, remember that they have instructions in this readme.txt file. Uh, they say to verify that the installation went well, you can navigate to the backup directory again in your Windows File Explorer. So I'm going to go to my backup directory, which is this one right here, and then I'm going to go into the same folder we were in before. And now, now my f files look a little bit different than this says. They say make sure archive00.dat is larger than the archive00.bak. Uh, it doesn't look like I have an archive00.bak, but you can see that the map files, or the, there's these archive00.dat, you can see this is bigger than uh, the other one, which was the original one, I believe. And then you can see that also that they were updated at 5.26 p.m., which is when I'm making this video. So you can at least verify that it edited the correct file. So once you've done that, you can close out of all that stuff. Um, and then you need to safely remove your drive. So you do that by, if you don't know, by coming down here. Uh, the one that looks like a USB and you can just left click once and then hit eject and then you get a pop-up message that says it's safe to remove and then you can remove it from your computer. So now I've plugged the USB back into my PS3, turn the PS3 on and then you go to the system settings again and the backup utility again except for this time you hit restore and then you say yes to this prompt and then you you pick your USB device which for me is this one so I'm gonna hit OK and then it thinks about it for a minute and then you select the backup data which this, these numbers just mean the date, so it's June 4th of 2016 at a certain time, and then I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to once again hit Yes, and you can see the first thing it does is it deletes, it formats the system, which means that it's deleting all of the other data that was there before. So again, you know, this is why you know, this process is not supported by Sony or Insomniac. You know, you got to be careful when you're doing this stuff. Okay, so it's saying press the PS button. It restarted just now the system. So I hit the PS button. And now it, you can see it says, if I can get my phone to focus here. It says restoring. Do not turn off the system or remove the storage media. And then kind of like with the backup, it's, uh, it's thinking about how much time it's going to take to restore it. Usually it looks like the restoring is a much faster process than the backup. So mine, if you remember, was an hour and a half to backup and it's going to be only 31 minutes to restore. So then you wait for it to restore. So now the restore is completed. I'm going to hit the X button to restart like it says. Uh, after you restart, there's one more step. Uh, you come over here to the account management and then you select system activation, PS3 system, and then you pick game and then activate system and then you wait for it to activate and then you hit OK. Once it's activated, you should be able to play UIA with the custom maps. 
Uh, one more note, unless you make modifications to your PS3, you can't host these games. Uh, all you can do is join them, so keep that in mind as well. Also, based on my personal experiences with uh, installing these maps, one other thing is if something happens and you do mess it up and they don't work, I would recommend before you start to make a second copy of your backup using the same backup tool and then like a second USB drive because if something happens it could be that you've corrupted your data so even if you delete your USB backup data you might have corrupt data still on the actual PS3 so then when you go back that up you're just backing up the corrupt data so if you have a second USB that you keep in like you know non-modified clean condition uh, you can use that to back up or yeah to have an extra backup of your data just in case something happens and then if something does happen I would recommend you start by first restoring that extra backup that you haven't tampered with at all and then starting the whole process over again. One other thing to note about the new maps is that when you're joining a game that will be at a new map it doesn't look like it's at a new map. It'll look like it's at one of the existing maps. So, for example, this game here, it looks like it's at Bikisi Isles. So what happens is the person that is uh, hosting the game, in this case Badger, is going to pick one of the new maps for us to play on. So the best thing to do is just consult the person that made the game to determine what the new map will be that you're playing on. So the game is starting. Uh, unlike a normal game, the screen just goes black while it's loading. It doesn't look like it's loading like one of the maps, but then you can see that it loads the new map. Here we are at the end of the game. Uh, you can see we did a deathmatch. And at the end of the game, uh, it looks like the same as any other end of game. And then the map is whatever, but then the stats are the same as any game. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for the uh, tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, uh, put them on the YouTube comments or contact me on Kick, and I'll try to answer them. Thanks, guys. Thank you.